Okay, let's do Blender stuff. Specifically, let's look at Andres's code. Code review. We're doing a code review or code walkthrough. I think code walkthrough. I like that better than review. Um, maybe refactor. Sort of depends. All right. So here we are. We are on the newly renamed. Free mocap Blender add-on repository, which is forked from AJC 27-git slash free mocap tools, which he has made and has several things in it. This free mocap adapter and these sort of video. Um, I think there's like a, I think there, I think they're additional. I think they're additional. Um, what's it called? Who's it's? What's it's? Uh, add-ons like I think they're standalone I'm like, I can't remember but and they're good I do like them and I've I've worked with them and they're some of them have been sort of incorporated um, but we're mostly gonna be focusing on the free mocap adapter which I have uh, da, da, da. oh I thought I changed that name so we yeah wait I changed it back I can't remember we did this last time um, hmm. I just realized I, I am now at a point where I could run those videos through the transcription thing I built last time and actually see what I did talk about. Um, but I'm not going to do that for this one because I want to get it done before the 11 a.m. Friday meeting. Uh, but I will do that actually before I, because I have to record some class videos later. And I will do that because, uh, like, what did I say in those videos is actually something that I should be able to communicate. Okay, um, so we have diverged. Yeah, um, yeah. So here's mine, and there's these five branches. Um, oh, I guess this one's recent. I don't think I did anything on here though. Yeah, there's only one commit. Um, synced with upstream is the one that is. It, it's kept at parity with. Andres's. So, and this one, yeah, this one's closer because I I aligned it more recently. I'm actually still surprised that it's only that. I thought. So, yeah, so we're going to look into the code, see what's going on in there. Um, because we are currently in the space, like, we want to kind of align. Because basically, some time ago, um, when Andres first started showing up, but I first started seeing his cool stuff, uh, I pulled, yeah, I forked the original repo, and... Uh, refactored it and chopped it up and made just basically kept most of the internal functioning the same but also re-architected just like where the, the files were and then pulled like right that's what I mostly what I was doing was like trying to pull the pure Python manipulations out like op apart from the like uh, blendery stuff like the stuff that required BPY um, with the intention of pulling the pure Python computational stuff into free mocap proper and let and let blender be blender um and we talked we did talk about that last time um since that point so however what happened was um although like i think that the way that i refactored the code was like it's like cleaner and more modular and easier to, to work with and blah 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 um it actually wasn't as good in terms of the, the core functionality as Andres' original stuff because basically because I did some stuff to like generalize just like oh let's make sure that this will work in more general case blah 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 um, and he like did more like oh let's make sure that this like let's just make this let's make this work like regular <laughs> um, I think that's true I mean it's hard to say there's also I think I like 
I like simplified some of his algorithms, which like broke them a little bit. Simplified. It's like, oh, there's that not doing what it needs. Like, let me just clean this up. And it's like, oh no, that that part there was actually doing stuff. <laughs> um so basically a situation now is that his his add-on is better in terms of like recreating a skeleton and he added some like like broke apart the skeleton into rigid bodies which is i'm super excited about that part um and like you know scaling and all this sort of other stuff and uh so now that we are ready <laughs> as a group uh, to kind of like merge the streams and um, work on pulling the latest version of his stuff into the rearchitecture like chop the pit for like the official FreeMocap Blender add-on repo, which is this one, um, and then basically like you know start showing and teaching um, old Andres about. Uh, uh, git flow like git based like open source like uh like workflows and like here's how we do it like we make a fork of the branch and then we work on that branch and then you do a pull request and then we do a pull request review and you know blah 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 like you know like try to have a soft touch try not to touch too many files at once you know small prs are good and um you know, like style guides and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> we prefer our variable names to be like this. Oh, last time, uh, yesterday I learned the term, uh, the fluent coding style, which I, it's like, I didn't realize the thing I liked had a name. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's where we are at. And um, step one of that. Oh, yeah, in the previous videos, I was kind of like, I think I was kind of like reminding myself what the code looked like because um, it's been a second since I've been in there. Like my side of the code, like the free mocap slash uh, current, not this one, but the other, ver the main branch of this one. Um, and that was videos one and two, I guess, <laughs> in retrospect, apparently. Um, so this will make this, I think I said of four. And I think this is video three, which is walkthrough of Andres's code, code what code, walkthrough, review, possibly refactor, um, whatever. And then four, well, might, I don't know what four would be, but <laughs> presumably, I think I want four to be like pulling the pure Python stuff out of, uh, the blender add-on um I, I thought i was going to say that it was like starting to do the work for pulling andres's thing but i think that's actually that's andres andres will do that he has offered i believe well anyways <laughs> it's like it's like open source stuff it's like i'm like I, I'm, <laughs> it's like i hope that this is an intrinsically motivating enough activity for you that you would be willing to do it and uh, if you do spectacular if you don't hey man I totally get that <laughs> um, I do not have any money I cannot pay you <laughs> okay um, maybe someday if you're watching this and you have money well we are in fact a 501c3 public charity free mocap foundation it says so right here on the paper. It's an official document. <laughs> uh. So yeah, we have uh, QuickBooks and everything. We'll give you a whatever the form is that says that you gave us money and then you can show the government. They'll be like, oh, great. That's spectacular. Good job for you. Let's <sighs> AGPLV3 because it's a poison dart frog party and everybody's invited. Uh, custom properties. Ooh. I should put this on Zenodo. And I should. That's. Mm, that's how you give credit. Yeah, hell yeah. I should put this on Zenodo and I should put uh, Andres on it as a author hell yeah why not it's true scientifically meaningful pile of text <laughs> uh, 
who wrote it? Well, we, could, we together. <laughs> I'll do that real quick, actually. Zenodo. Zenodo, I think, is a EU thing. Um, and it's like, well, what do I do here? Um, it allows you to put DOIs on GitHub repositories, which, like, if you want that. As a researcher, you want that. Um, look at this. This is why I use this dark reader thing. What's that? It's so bright. Ugh. <laughs> hmm, I can't see it. Actually, it's not doing anything. Um, yeah, the same people that evaluate your career based on the length of your CV are, they're too dumb to notice the difference between a journal publication and a Zenodo DOI citation because they look exactly the same. So the ones that are judging by length are too dumb to know the difference. So just like pump them, pump them in. Use a poly repo, break yours apart, Everyone gets a new release. You're supposed to cheat. It's it's a game. <laughs> uh, so this is I I hesitated because it's like I gut check myself when I look at these things. It's like it's I usually either like my Google auth or my GitHub auth. This is one where I'm like, oh, would I have used Orchid last time I was here? If I click this, it's like. Like I, have, I feel like I would have already done this. Yeah, I did. It's got to check. Oh. <sighs> mm. Ooh. This is my my class stuff. I just had a spectacular idea. <laughs> Tell us, we'll, we'll talk about it later. This is going to be like the class thing. Um, but I will give it to the org because why not? Uh oh. My phone just died. I just killed my phone recently. <laughs> and that's going to be a problem. Like, I. I have. I think I have an extra I can like activate, but if I have to do any two op, two factor things, I'm not gonna be able to do it. <sighs> whatever. That's a good opportunity to test your whatevers. Um. Okay. So. GitHub. How do I do this? Okay. Yeah. There it is. Free mocap. Enabled. Okay, so then you, you go here into the Zenodo, who's it, and find your repositories. Uh, what was it? Was it? And yeah. Oh, not that. That's nothing. This is why I don't like to use this because it's like, oh my god, was that just what it looks like? Y'all. That's European. This is like something like I associate. <laughs> they just don't. It's like I don't know. I think it's just because America puts so much money and attention into like design because of the hypercapitalism. Um, okay. Yeah. So now this is linked. Um, so I'm not going to do it just yet. But basically, anytime if I do it, if I make a release here, it gets tagged with a DOI. And then if you make like citation.cff, you make that file and then that's it shows it makes like cite this as in the in the sidebar over here. Uh, none of that is relevant. Um, mm, okay. Let's get started. Let's look at the code. Hmm, okay, so with Blender code, I often, typically, 
Well, it's Kelly Cam later. It's Kelly Cam so close. It's Kelly Cam so close. You're too low. You, you should be. You're too high. There you go. See the best thing about this ridiculous snuggy jacket. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here we are, and we're gonna down here. She might be too active to want this right now, but and it's not that cold. Okay. nursing <laughs> um who am i where am i what am i doing get pull yeah um okay so into the walk through right oh but i will also want to open this in vs code Mm, I don't know how I feel about this color theme. Not great. Ooh, what you got? VS Code is one of those things where it's like, when they have a new release, I'm like, oh, what'd you add? Oh, what's up, buddy? He doesn't want this. <laughs> um, per window zoom levels, hey code voice command. <gasps> what? Can I steal it? I'll bet I can. I'll bet I can. Oh, I'm going to steal this. Ooh. Everything's about voice, guys. Everything is going to be about voice. Like, I don't think anyone realizes that. Or people don't. I don't see people realizing that. But like this, we're done with that. And we don't need they who shall not be named. Because it's so easy to do it yourself. <sighs> okay. Triggered breakpoints. Multi-file diff editor. Quickly reviewed. Oh. VS Code, man. I tend to prefer, like, JetBrains stuff for this stuff, but I... I as, like, a general every-purpose text editor, VS Code. If I had to pick one, I guess would be a way to say that. Flexible autosave. Skip autosave on errors. <laughs> Skip autosave on errors. That's nice. I like that. Customize commit input per language extension notifications copilot. I find I'm so resistant to learning the new copilot stuff because I don't want to get locked in. VS Code speech though. That's that's huge because I can hijack this <laughs> I can hijack this this guy I'm gonna send that to John because every purpose every purpose text editor is in fact That's LLMs. That's what you want to put them in. Okay. Um, Fiocas. Fiocas. Uh, anyway, so yeah. So do <laughs> update. No, oh, do I want to update? But where'd the update button go? Whoa. That's all time series. No. Nothing I care about. Did the update button go away? How long are you? 375? Yeah, you need to be broken up. <sighs> okay. 
All right. Um, so we shall. First thing we're going to do. Yeah. So we are planning to. Yes, I'm just going to look through Andres' code, mostly with the intention of just kind of getting a lay of the land again. Uh, maybe see, I may not be able to recognize where it's diverged, but I can probably guess. But I can at least like look through it and sort of like, because I think we just want to have like a plan on like how to integrate it. Um, and I think I already know what it looks like. So this shouldn't be, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so first thing we do is we switch branches. So this is my Blender Free Mocap Blender add-on guy. Um, oh, I am gonna change that. There wasn't that a thing already? Control Shift R. <sighs> Control Shift R. R, yeah. AJC27. Oh, right, because something broke in the GitHub when I did this. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the interest of... All right, bye. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll move past it. So I'm not on this branch anyways. Um, remote... Sync with upstream, check out. Could have also done that. Smart. Mm, no, that won't work. What did I do? Cancel. Um, well. Whatever. Okay. Oh. Wait, no. This is, yeah, okay, this is a PyCharm bug. Um, how about you? Do you? Do you notice when I change? Oh. Right, because these are all dead folders. This is the thing I've noticed, like sometimes when you switch branches, like if you have a bunch of folders that don't match, you'll just wind up with empty folders, which is, um, cause like Git doesn't like notice empty folders. They don't like, they, they like don't really exist in Git's like ontology, I think, cause it's like, folders only exist in that they are the path to a file so i think somehow when they switch branches like you get these empties left over and i'm not sure whose fault it is um but i noticed it first in pycharm oh but i guess there's also oh, oh. not relevant though Free mocap adapter. So, one thing that I know. Okay, so first of all, actually, so we're now officially doing the code review. Uh, 23 minutes in. Maybe I should split this. I'm gonna split it. This is the end of one. 